Just keep your jacket on, we'll take it off for you. Drop down, all the way down. A warrant is never a light-hearted matter. It should always be taken with utmost care. From someone's mother charging them for criminal trespass. Can you please? I don't want to go. This is embarrassing. To someone trying to get better treatment from the officers. I'll turn the AC on for you, okay? I might. I got an elderly father that needs my help. Okay? Here are some incidents where law enforcement had to apprehend suspects with active warrants. The first incident revolves around a young woman named Ariel. On May 16th, 2023, in Las Cruces, New Mexico, officers were dispatched about a case of a domestic dispute. Upon arriving at the scene, they identified the female in question and approached her. An officer greeted Ariel and approached her. He told her she was not in trouble and he only wanted to talk. Meanwhile, another officer started questioning the mother of the woman. She led the officer inside her house and explained the situation to him. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. Ma'am. No, it's okay. I'm, you're not in trouble. I just want to talk to you, ma'am. Is that okay? I just want to make sure everything's all right. We can talk under the shade, ma'am. It's okay. You're not in trouble whatsoever. Hello, good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Officer Pagano with the Police Department. Yeah, we made contact with her right there on Solano and Train Street. Okay. She just threw everything, she broke everything. She looked in the bathroom, she just turned everything over and I So what happened today, ma'am? She just, she was taking a shower and I could hear her, she got all the charge with the controller, I could hear her going. The other officer inquired if the woman had any weapons on her, and she promptly denied possessing anything of that sort. He then asked her about the argument she had with her mother. Hey ma'am, you don't have any weapons on you? No. Okay. No, you're okay. You can leave it on. So, I'm Officer Pagan with the Las Cruces Police Department. Um, reason I'm here is, I guess you just had a little argument over there at your house. Is everything okay? Central, so what happened? She just walked in and she got mad at me. Who walked in? My mom, that's it, that's all. That's it. Oh, okay, so it's just you and your mom? Yeah, my grandpa's not there. He's at work. I'm about to go work with him right now. Well, not work with him, but I was going to go talk to him. But I don't know if he's right there, but I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm I know, I know. We just want to make sure. So, what was the argument about with your mom? Nothing, sir. I, nothing. It's nothing wrong. I'm okay. Okay. The mother told the officer that her daughter was acting violent and crazy. She also said that her daughter did not live there with them. Meanwhile, Ariel began to weep while talking to the cop. The mother informed the officer that her daughter was a contraband user and had a warrant. All right, you know, my dad, I can't get a hold of him because it's not calling him and he's gonna have to come home from work and see this. Because I have to go to work, you know? I understand, ma'am. And she, he needs to, if you want to bend her from here, Okay, so she's just violent and crazy. Okay, and how long has she been living here, ma'am? Well, she doesn't live here. She lives with her boyfriend. Oh, okay, so she's just staying at your house for like a little. Yeah, no, she she just came. My dad will let her come here sometimes to shower or to eat, and that's it. Miss Campos, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay, sir. Please, I'm okay. I just don't want to be there with her. I understand. <laughs> We're just going to conduct our investigation and then just figure out what's going on, okay? I'm okay! When was the last time she did live here, though? Um, it's been a long time. It's been probably like five or six years. Would you like her trespass from the property? Okay, so the only thing with that, the only thing with that, ma'am, if she's trespassed from the property, you guys cannot allow her back for any reason and yeah. violate that trespassing because yeah. then she can get arrested. Yeah, good. We need to do that because it's Would getting be bad. Something? She's broken the windows before to get in. Okay. All she does is steal from us and rip us off, and it's awful. A nightmare okay. we have to deal with because she's bad on the drugs, and she doesn't want to stop. We've tried helping her. The officers kept asking Ariel about the argument, but she was reluctant to provide any information. 
Eventually, she said that her mother kept arguing with her while she got out of the shower. We're just here trying to figure out what's going on, okay? You want to tell me what happened? Nothing happened. No? I just left. That's all. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Who's, uh, who's at home? Nobody. She keeps going back and forth, and I don't know why. I just got out the shower. Okay. Who's she? Mom? Yes. Okay. She kept crying, and the officer tried to calm her down. Another officer asked the mother if the argument had become physical between them. She immediately denied it and said the argument never devolved into a physical altercation. Calm down for me, we're just, we're just trying to figure out what's going on, okay? I'll go ahead. Here, relax. <laughs> you're all right, you're all right. And it never became physical between you and her today, ma'am? No, because I got here and Right away, I saw, I'm calling the police, I'm calling the police, I'm calling the police, she stopped, and she just got the door and slammed it, and she was yelling all the way, through. she was way down, I could hear that sound. Has she taken anything today? I don't know, she probably did, she always takes, she'll take her, like, her soap, her shampoo, you know, she'll sometimes take food, and she just rips us off like nothing, you know? After observing the damages, the officer asked the mother if she wanted to press charges for criminal damage to property. She agreed to press charges. Other officers' repeated attempts at calming Ariel fell on deaf ears. Okay, so since she doesn't live here and she's not a household member, mm -hmm. would you like to pursue charges for the criminal damage to property? Yes. Okay, let me just gather your information. So <laughs> you didn't tell her, you just left, you didn't tell her anything? Uh, no, what are you? <laughs> no, why did you? Oh, What's going on? Hello. Hey, relax, relax. <laughs> Just chill out for a minute. Are you all right? <laughs> Suddenly, she became argumentative with the officers. She kept complaining about the officers staring at her. They informed her that they only wanted to talk to her and inquired why she was acting weird. What are you guys staring at? We're just trying to make sure you're okay, Ariel. I'm okay and my foot well, can't free, be free to go on. Why do you keep crying then? Because I like you guys stop me for you guys were supposed to go to the house. Why do you guys stop me for she called you guys to go talk to her? So what else happened, Ariel? Nothing else happened. Okay, how long have you been living there for? They're, they're talking to mom right now, right? Ariel, did you take anything? No! No? Stay right here, we're not gonna talk to you. Ariel, stay right here. Am. Can you please stop? We're still trying to talk to you, okay? You can't leave yet. Get away from me! Step a little back! I'm not even by you. What'd you take, Ariel? I didn't take nothing! What the hell are you talking why about? Are you, why are you acting like this? I'm not acting like nothing! I'm My not mom called you to go 23 months of this stuff! Someone's why over there did already. you stop me? Because we saw you and someone else is over there already. Well, nobody is over there! I just, just walked over from there. over there! They just went over there right now. I just walked from over there! Well, they just went over I'm there not right now. stupid! Did I say that? I'm in a military and I'm in a marine! I am not the one! Quit looking at me like I'm a cat, dog! She then started to claim that the officers were scaring her. She started weeping loudly. The officer then proceeded to apprehend her. She instantly started resisting the officer. They quickly handcuffed her. After she calmed down a little, the officers helped her to her feet. <laughs> Nothing! Stay out of my business! 
An officer escorted her to a police cruiser. While placing her in the back, he told her that a medical team would check on her shortly. A female officer then patted down Ariel for contraband. She was then transported to the police station. Just have a seat for now. We're gonna have fire uh, come check on you, okay? Watch your step. Step out, face that car. Move your feet apart. You have nothing on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? No? Okay. I don't want that to. Hey, you got that bag? That bag? Put it right there. Let me in the bag. Does that have another bag? Can you let me out there? Yeah. And Up. It's going to be dark for just a second. All right. Ariel was charged with battery on a peace officer, resisting, and criminal damage to property. While Ariel's mother finally decided to teach her a lesson and press charges, our next individual was able to escape jail by sheer luck. But before that, let's see someone getting arrested on land for an infraction she committed on sea. I'll let you know. Turn on. This is the first time this has happened to me. The second incident is caused by a woman. On March 24th, 2023, officers met a woman who they were familiar with to let her know that she had a warrant. They told her that she might have missed a court date. The officers located the woman and inquired about a restraining order she filed for. The officer then informed her that she had a warrant. She denied knowledge of it. She claimed that she talked to an officer and that it should not be an issue. Hey, Good. How are you guys? Good. Let me let me share with you. Right? So. <clears throat> so what happened with uh, with John? You said you got a restraining order against him. Fifteen years. Really? I'm not being arrested, am I? What? Fifteen years. Fifteen years they gave me. Really? How long ago was that? March 9th of last year. Okay. Um. Five foot six foot three. Sure. It's been a while, huh? He hasn't done anything. Really? Is he still in jail or what? Not that I know of. Is he still living on the beach? I haven't seen him. People <clears throat> have seen him. I haven't. Did you want me to close your tables out or anything? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Am um, I in trouble? So, apparently, you do have a warrant. Are you aware of that? No. A failure to appear? Some kind of court order. I just spoke to the officer at South Beach today. He told me he's going to meet me Monday at 9 a.m. to give me paperwork. I moved. So I haven't gotten anything. <clears throat> I haven't gotten anything. And I just got off the phone with him. He said I can meet you Monday what, morning at 9. It? <sighs> Hull? Was it, off, was it with play order? Yeah. Was I there literally. ID on you? Yeah, I just, just got off the phone it. with him. I just got off the phone with him. Is it on you? The officer then explained the situation to her. He asked her if she knew what it was about. She told him that it was a sailboat related issue. She claimed that she never received any paperwork. Part of the <clears throat> yeah, it says FTA court order, but it's not specific on. So what is that for? Navigation lights for what was a sailboat, which is now gone. Lincoln, five zero zero five five three. Yeah, can you guys please just watch here? Well, that's why I came in the back. I didn't want to walk through 
Yeah. If we can, please. Yeah. What was it for? It's like there was a navigation It said fair to boat. appear court order. For a nav light? Yeah, but I never got paperwork on anything. <clears throat> She told the officers that she had not been on her sailboat for over a year. She added that the issue was also fixed. One of the officers told her that the warrant was fairly recent. They inquired if she missed any court dates by accident. The officer told her that normally she would be in handcuffs, but they were making an exception for her. I've been on that boat in over a year. Because it warrants. Two, three, right, I haven't even seen it on this. No, because it's, it's at, I have it at my friend's house. It's been moved for months. So if you get a navigation And the ticket, lights were fixed. Right, but this war was just issued three days ago. Yeah, on the 20th. What? Yeah. I swear on everything that's holy. Any other kind of speeding tickets or tickets you didn't, that you got? Nope. You didn't get any mandatory court dates? I haven't got, I just moved to Island of States a couple months ago, and I told him, and he, they still had my old address. I'll show you on my computer. Yeah, I could grab my phone if you want so you guys could see. Like, I just what, spoke to him. What, um, what property do you have here that you need to get? I have to go? Are you kidding? If it gets confirmed, yeah. Can you confirm that I spoke to him and he made me Monday at night? Well, I'm trying to confirm. We're trying to be nice because you all have a relationship and you've been cooperative with us. Because normally anybody else right now, you already made handcuffs. The officer speculated that it could be a misdemeanor. She protested by saying her records were clean. She again claimed that she had talked to another officer and that there should not be an issue. The officers then told her to empty her pockets. How long do I have to be there? I don't want to go in there. It's just a misdemeanor. I have nothing on my record. And they'll, and they'll tell me what the bond is. Oh my gosh. He was so bond to go to the judge. He just told me I have to go to court and just pay the Hole? Hole? Mole? Hole? More. 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 I don't know why I keep saying hole. When did you, when you talk to him? Like 30 minutes ago. Like literally, I called because I was like, yeah. You talked to him today? I did, yes. Can I please get my phone and show you? Oh, no, no, no. no. I, I can get your phone. Right there. Stop, 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 sorry, stop, stop, sorry, stop, stop. Sorry. Just relax. I'm relax. scared, George. I know. Do I don't want this to happen to me. Have, do you have anything in your pockets? No, I have my vape and I have money <laughs> and I have my lip gloss. All right, I'm going to set everything up here. Just take everything away. <laughs> it's fine. Please, it's fine. I don't want well, you guys to take me. Five, five, I'll, I'll talk to him. No, please. Bit. Hang up. Hang up? Yeah, he's, he's not going to answer this. His work phone. He answered it before for me. Simple. I'll call him. Can Just you take. please? I don't want to go. This is embarrassing. What do you have in here? Okay. Money that's also theirs. It's like this is my bank for my job. Are there any females working? Uh. Yeah, I want to get a search on that. Can you please? Yeah, confirm. Confirm? Is that? I'm talking about what he's doing now. Uh. What's up? How much is it? Five or six. I have What's no about? idea, George. Come on. Hang on, look right here. <clears throat> she asked if the officers would only seat her in the cruiser instead of being handcuffed. The officer told her that they had to handcuff her. Another officer informed her about the bond. She was then placed inside the police cruiser. The woman was taken to jail. A female officer patted her down for contraband. Alright, unfortunately I do have to put you in handcuffs, okay? Can I just go in the car? I gotta put you in handcuffs. Can we like do it and I can see me? Sure. Where do you want to do it at? Like right here. Okay, yeah, we can move back. Can you do it right here? And what will happen now, George? I'll let you know, turn around. This is the first time this has happened to me. You're going to go to jail, that process you You uh -huh. set a bond, you pay the bond, you go out. Then you make sure you make the use of the Fair. That's what they do. How much is a bond for something like that? I can tell you, once you're in custody in there, we'll tell you. It's on the computer screen. I never thought I'd see this thing, George. Mm-mm. Come on. This is silly. I wasn't aware of this until here recently. I'm, like, really scared right now. You're fine. I'm Relax. really going to cry. I'm scared. You're fine. Um, Can I go in this way? No, we're going to go on the other side. I got to go the other way? Yeah. Why? Oh, all this stuff. Door. He's going to block you. Yeah, we only have one compartment. Here. Okay. But, so then, what, um, well, I'll wait till you call and tell me. So what happens now? Um, 
I need to go on the computer and uh, and I'll, I'll pull it up for you. Please. Yeah. You'll be with me, or I'll have officer. I don't know. No, I'm I'm riding with them. Okay. Here's the car. Yeah. Yeah. Let me explain this to you, okay? You are under arrest. Okay. okay. You are going to Pinellas County Jail. Okay. okay. Right now, you have a little tiny warrant with a $513 bond. Okay. It's nothing major. Okay. okay. What becomes major is if you enter something into the jail. Okay. You, okay. Do you have No. Pressing my question, do you have anything on you that's going to poke, stick, fry me, any little bit of weed, any narcotics, negative brass knuckles, any guns, hug, no. or hoo-ha? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Because if you give it to me now, it's not a big deal. Nothing. If it goes into the jail, it's a higher class felony and it's not good. I have nothing. Okay. Um, go ahead and one step back from the car. Go ahead and bring your left foot out to mine. This one. Yeah, keep going. <coughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I still got a check, though. It's okay. But I could go home tonight. You have yep. a five hundred and thirteen yep. dollar bond. That's it. Oh, so if you pay cash, it's five thirteen. Okay, if you cool. Do a, a yeah. Something else. It's even less, but okay. it's almost be harder to get a bill. Well, I'll take here. this one down, and they. I was like, why, why are you texting me? I was like, what happened? What did I do? Nothing. You don't, you don't wear it around? I have a police spot, but I don't got The woman was arrested for an active warrant. It was issued because she missed court dates. As mentioned before now, we will see how our next individual was able to escape jail because of extraordinary luck. Please. I just need to prepare myself, please. No. I'm so sorry. Okay. The third incident is centered around a 28-year-old lucky woman. On September 11th, 2023, in University Heights, Ohio, police officers responded to Macy's. Loss prevention agents had detained a woman who allegedly stole two bottles of fragrances valued at $260. After conducting a check, officers discovered the woman had an active warrant out of the Parma Police Department for misdemeanor theft and attempted possession of contraband. Loss prevention agents told the officers about the theft attempt the officers then talked with the woman and informed her that she would be receiving a ticket for the theft. They also told her that she had an active warrant. Good morning. She came in and picked up two fragrances, they're 130 bucks each, and walked out. She's been cooperative, she just has no identification, so. What total is the total? 260. Yeah. What's your address? And you say he's up on the lines underneath for me, all right? Did she have nothing with a picture on it? Nope. And what's your name? Do you mind the last that? What's the last name? Scott. Hey, right. any tape? Yep. How long do it take for you all to find out? So. First, he's going to write up the, there's going to be a, like a ticket essentially for the theft. Um, so that's what, that's what he's writing out. So there's two different tickets? Well, one's, yeah, one's the actual criminal ticket. I don't know what they gave you. I have no idea what they gave you. So how long is it going? I don't think, if I don't have a warrant, then I get to go? Well, you have, you have a warrant through Parma. I do? Yeah, that's, that's what I was told. Okay. I don't know what we're you doing with that yet. To Parma, though? I, I, we, we have not called Parma yet. Mm -mm. I was, no, I said I don't know because... I don't know if I have a woman. That's what I said. No, I know. I, what I was told is that you do. The woman asked if she was going to jail. The officer briefed her on the situation and informed her that her warrant would be handled by the Parma Police Department, where it had been issued. She told the officers that she had her sister's vehicle and she would need it. The officers assured her that they would take care of it. I don't know if they want you or not, right? We, we just got here. That'd be one thing at a time. So I'm about to go to jail? For us, no. So if Parma wants me, I'm going to jail. Well, if Parma wants you, then it would be whatever Parma does. Sometimes they might take you down to their station. They might give you a new court date. They might release you at Parma. I don't know. Parma is not us. We do two different things, right? Completely. Sister, I gotta give my sister her keys so she can get her kids from school. Like. Okay, do you have your sister's car? Yes. Okay. No, like she, she's getting her some lashes done, bro. Okay, where's she at? Over here somewhere. One of the lashes, uh, one of the hair places or eye yeah, places over here? Okay. All right. I just want to know if I can leave her keys in the car. Like, we'll, you know? we, we'll, we'll figure it all out. We're not going to leave you high and dry. All right. We'll, we'll make sure that you're good. She then asked about the warrant. 
The officer told her that a warrant would be issued if she missed a court date. She told the officers that she only had misdemeanors before. The cop then informed her about what procedures they were going to follow. Do I do have a warrant to run? Yeah, I believe so, yeah. Oh, for missing court? Pro if you miss court, then yeah, it's 100% for missing court. If you miss a court date of any kind, whether it's traffic related or an, like a theft or something, you automatically get a warrant. So if, yeah, if you didn't go to your court date, that's what it's gonna do. Okay, it's up in the air. It, it depends how many people they have working, if they're busy right now, it, it depends on a bunch of things. Uh, we'll, our dispatch will end up giving them a call and seeing what they wanna do. Uh, but for now, we have to give you our ticket for it. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to get your fingerprints first. But once, for us, we'll just get your, we'll take you back to our station, get your fingerprints, and you're good. So I'm gonna go to jail. No, we don't have a jail in our police station. She claimed that her boyfriend was shot recently, and the officer told her that the court date this time was mandatory. He added that if she missed her court date, a second warrant would be issued. He also advised her to inform the court in advance if she was not going to make it on the fixed date. Now, if you don't go to this court appearance, it's going to be mandatory. So you have to go in person. I'm going. If you don't go, I just have to let you know you're going to get another warrant. I'm going. I, okay. I, I just missed court because I stayed all the way in Akron and I don't have court. Okay. There's, he'll show you there's information on the back for the court's like website, their phone number, all that. If something happens, let's say you can't get a ride, um, some medical emergency happens, something like that, give them a call. Don't just not let them know anything. Give them a call like, hey, I got issues with transportation. I got issues with some uh, medical. I can't come to this date. Is there a different day I can come? So let them know. So They'll work with you. That's about to be on my record, though. What's up? That's about to be on my record. Probably. I mean, it depends on the judge, but probably. Upon inquiring, she told the officer that she worked at a McDonald's. The officers then issued her the ticket for the stolen fragrances. They also collected her fingerprints. An officer then inquired about her medical state. She replied that she was having a panic attack. All right, I've been saved today for theft above day with purpose to deprive me. She's still on our property to it, two bottled fragrances, no you obtain or exert control over said property without the consent of Macy's. Don't want our person authorized to give consent. The total of those two box fragrances is 260 bucks. Signature next to the X, you can sign it for a copy, and not a minute any type of guilt or anything. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't know if they explained to you, you gotta come back and get the fingerprints real quick. I haven't checked yet. We're gonna check after we do fingerprints. I just need to prepare myself, please. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. Do you have anything medically going on with you right now? No. Oh. I just. You could not find for it. I just be having real bad pain. So sorry. Right. I'm not putting cuffs on you. You don't have any weapons on you or anything. No, I swear to God. You treat me nice. I'll, I'll treat you the same. I don't have nothing. Um, let me have your purse. You want to put anything in your purse? You'll get it back. I'm not taking anything out of there as long as you don't have any machine guns or hand grenades or anything. You got nothing on, inside your coat or anything? No, no, no. No, no. I and so we got to come back real quick. Fingerprints. I'll call thing real quick for you. See if they want you or not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, look. Give me your pass. You can't carry You got video? Report. The officers then took her to the police station. She kept asking if the Parma Police Department had contacted them yet and said that she wanted to call her grandfather. The officer allowed her to call. Suddenly, the dispatch informed the officer that the warrant was still active. However, as Parma jail was full, they could not receive the woman. We're gonna go straight. I didn't call back yet. They usually have about 10 minutes, 15 minutes before if you can't get in there, let me know. I'll come back here and... I'm waiting. Do you get all their leads? <laughs> no. Can you bring them? Yeah, let me go grab it. What's the matter? I just want to call my grandfather so he can just... So he can come. Will that help you calm down? <laughs> here, call Grandpa. Just let him know what's going on. We don't know about Parma yet. You're going to get a ticket from us. If Parma wants you, we'll address that at that time. But right now, you're just getting a ticket from us, okay? Radio 
have Parma PD. The one that's got how their jail is full, I find. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, I'm about sure to go get him this three hundred dollars today. Yeah, make sure you take care of it. Oh my god! All right, all right, have your phone back in your purse. Oh my god! Down. Oh my god! You here, let me have that real quick. She received a citation for the theft with a mandatory court appearance. She failed to appear for her arraignment. She still has the warrant from the Parma Police Department. While the woman was able to escape serving time, our next individual was not so lucky. Just keep that jacket on. We'll take it off for you. Drop down, all the way down. A young man named Jay takes center stage for our last incident. On September 13th, 2023, in Birch Bay, deputies contacted him on an electric skateboard. Jay claimed his skateboard batteries were dead and that he was just trying to get home. He told officers that he had a knife in his hand and was advised to drop it. The deputy contacts dispatch, which confirms the man has multiple felony warrants. An officer approached Jay and inquired if he lived nearby. He told the officer that his electric skateboard was out of charge and was heading home. He added that he had a knife on him. The officer ordered him to put it on the ground. Upon noticing nothing suspicious, the officers leave. How are you doing? What am I doing? How are you doing? Great. Good. Better. Just to know you're being recorded. Do you live around here? Yeah. Where do you live? What are you doing? Whereabouts? Uh, you said you're not doing very good. Can I help you? Well, my battery's dead in my skateboard. Oh no, is that an electric one? Yeah. What's your name? Jay. Jay? Yeah. What's your last name, Jay? What are you doing out here? Huh? What are you doing out here? Just going home. Just going home? Yeah. What, is that a little controller for your skateboard? Or? Yeah. How does that thing work? Uh, it's battery power, you charge it. Just so you know, hey, I got, uh, I was, I seen a dude that like, freaked me out over there, so I got, I'm carrying a knife. Okay, why don't you put that down? Yeah. Great. Why don't you stand over here so we get off the road? Good, uh, oh, shit. You can go if you want. 3720, code 1. You right on. Well, you're not with that knife. Uh -huh. Put that knife on the ground. What's your birthday, Jay? Jay? Yeah. What's your birthday? You're just gonna keep pushing? Yeah. Okay. Dispatch soon informed the officer that Jay had multiple felony warrants. The officer again located Jay and tried to stop him. He told him that he had a warrant. Jay started to argue with the officer. Other officers also joined the first one. Resident with additional warrants on file. So continuing. 2 Welcome. 3720. Full one. 2 the Bellingham PD felony warrant for Berg second. He has three additionals out of PPD for SKA shoplifting and two other DUIs. Uh, convicted felon, suspended revoke second, ignition and lock. Does the Bellingham Berg warrant specify if it's for like retail theft or something like that? Negative, just says Berg second degree, non residential, no forced entry. Sam for copy. Each way drive. First way driving. Stop. You are being detained to the Whatcom County Sheriff's Office. Stop. 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 This is the Sheriff's Office. You are being detained. You're not free to leave. You have a warrant for your arrest. Put your skateboard down. Take your backpack off. Nope. It's a felony burglary warrant. Stop. Are you sure you have a warrant for your arrest? You're not free to leave. You are not free to leave. Put your items down. You're under arrest. I assure you, you have a warrant for your arrest. You're not free to leave. Stop.
You're not free to leave. This is the police. Stop. You're obstructing our investigation. We'll just bound up and move up again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Despite the officer's orders to stop, Jay continued to walk. The officer warned him about additional charges if he did not comply. Another officer tried to explain the situation to him. The officer then issued instructions to Jay. Jay, we're not leaving. This is the sheriff's office. You're under arrest. You do not want to catch another charge of resisting arrest or obstructing a public servant. Comply with our orders and everything can go well. We don't want this to go bad. If there's a mix up, it's cool. We can understand, we can work through it. You don't want to get charges because of a mix up. That's going to put his stuff down. Just put your stuff back down, man. Step over here and talk with us. Hey, Ben. Yeah. We're going to call him back to the left side here. Yes. Walk backwards right. away from us. All right, man. Turn face away from us and walk back towards us. Make sure you don't step on one of those bollards and fall down. Keep coming. Keep verbals. Ben, Keep have coming. you go hands on. You can use uh, get a pair of cuffs. Keep coming. Yeah, I have a pair of cuffs. Two zero, go. go. Ben, cuffs. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Coach step to your right a little bit so you don't fall. Keep coming. Let's put him down there. Okay, I understand. Let's we'll work with there. it, okay? Hey, go ahead, stop. When close to the police cruiser, Jay lay on the ground. The officers quickly apprehended him. He tried to explain that he had a court date coming. Upon inquiring, he said that he had a pocket knife on him. An officer quickly retrieved it. Drop down to your knees. Hey, man, just drop down to your knees. What? Don't reach for anything. Hey, just, just keep your jacket on. We'll take it off for you. Drop down. All the way down. All the way down. Arms out to the sides. Lay down, put your arms out like an airplane. Alright. I believe we're covered. Move it up with you. We don't want to hurt mm -hmm. you. You're under arrest. All right, don't ben. move, okay? Yeah. We're just going to put your handcuffs on. If you need a second pair, just let us know. We'll pop another one. Hey, you guys, I promise you, dude. You, nope. you, please give me the benefit of the doubt. We, we appreciate we the cooperation, man. Please. All the way back. I had to, I had to do, Let's go another pair, get yeah. another pair. They had to freaking sit there for 45 minutes while they got the paper. I have a court date coming up here. I've been on top of it, dude, I promise you guys. For some reason, it doesn't come up in the paper. Three, seven, one, one, They let me go the last two times. I swear, dude, I swear to you guys. Double lock. Yeah. Hey, we're, we're listening. We're just trying to make sure we do this so we, you don't get hurt or anything, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, real quick, just for our safety, do you have any weapons on you, anything that's going to poke us? No, well, there's a pocket knife in my pocket right here. Pocket knife? Okay, don't reach for it, all right? Yeah. The officer then searched him for security reasons. He was then taken to a police cruiser. Jay insisted that he should not have a warrant. The officers then searched him thoroughly. While placing him inside the cruiser, he was read his Miranda rights. Yes. Man, you got a bunch of jackets. No wonder why you're hot, dude. Well, you ride that board, and uh, it's cool with the board. But when I ran out of blood, that is a 30-pound board. Hey, sit up. I'm going to help you. Hey, partner, when you stand aside, you can search all right, man. Hey, so we're going to do this a little weird. Pull your left foot in to your right knee, okay? Yeah, okay. We're going to go up and to the left. Okay. All right. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Out, man. Please check this in. Okay, we will, man. I promise you, dude. I we'll make sure we do. 100% promise you. All right. Hey, you call my mom, dude. My mom will check. My, I mean... Yeah. Where'd you say that knife was that? I got the knife. Nothing else. Do you got a uh, pair of shorts on too? I don't know why you guys just sit and keep playing this shit. I have a court date coming up this month. 
other than that, I have a, I have a misdemeanor that I just I try to I try to clear up, but there's nobody working in the misdemeanor office. All right, man. Hey, we're just gonna take a seat, okay? We're gonna verify the 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 jail, see if they it's wrong or anything like that, okay? All right, go ahead, take a seat. Please. I'll turn the AC on for you, okay? I might. I got an elderly father that needs my help. Okay. Dude. Hey, man, just remember everything's being recorded on our body cameras, okay? I'm not yep. tripping. What is this? It's the remote to my skateboard. Oh, the remote skateboard? Yeah, it's That's right. Cool. All right, hey, real quick. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court of law. You have the right at this time to uh, talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights I have explained to you? Yes. Okay. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us now? Yeah. Okay. Uh... The man was arrested because of his warrants. For more chilling tales of criminals, hit the subscribe button.